Hi, my name is Elijah. I am the CEO of Active LCC and I give FL Studio a 5 out of 5. I used a software called Soundtrap by Spotify and it wasn't really working out because it was very locked under paywall and it was also very hard to use and it just didn't really work out for me and all the other audio creating things that I needed to do. So I switched over to FL Studio as soon as I heard of it. FL Studio is a premium audio creating software that you can use many different plugins and different sound equipment to create any kind of song of your uh, interest or liking. I don't really have any experience using it with any kind of vocals, but it's mainly what I've used it for is for instrumentals and other uh, video game soundtracks, which is what I've been using it for. You can use so many plugins that you can find online for free, or you can pay for licenses. Getting started with FL Studio is a little bit difficult, especially if you've never heard of it before. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it, otherwise it's just pretty simple to get a hang of. You just gotta experiment and learn the controls and all the functionality, and that's pretty much it. You've found all your things, just throw in some different sound packs and you're good to go. Always head into FL Studio or any other kind of music software, uh, knowing at least a little bit of what you're doing. I started with absolutely no music knowledge and it was very difficult to get started with all in all. And it just got better as soon as I started learning how music worked and all the other little bits and bobs. Also, especially for FL Studio, do not leave it on the trial version. It may look like it's completely free to download, but you 100% have to buy a license key, which is about $100, if you want to ever save and load and export and do anything else with FL Studio, otherwise it's just completely, um, it's just under a trial mode. You can't really do much else except for experiment.